taken out of my car, you filthy asshole. Get out of my store. I'm sorry. Sorry isn't going to clean up this mess now, is it? Now get the fuck out and I'll call the cops. Oh, Relax, man. Let me pay for my shit. We don't serve your time here. Happy beautiful Tuesday. I got two thumbs up. Thank you, son. Yeah, I need to do something with my hair for real. Three thumbs up. Nobody say, well, happy to I'm about to turn this music off, y'all, because I ain't trying to be copyrighted. What's up, baby, Brooklyn? I'm feeling pretty nice, honey. Oh, copyright. How you doing, boo? 
Hope you feeling better. And that's old school right there, honey. I got to turn that down. I've been feeling that all night, Brooklyn. Man, how you doing, darling? Hope you're doing better. I've been praying for you. I'm on top chat. So we're going on panel tonight, Brooklyn. I think we should. Have you seen my numbers lately? I am. I am. But sleep. Oh, you sleepy. Okay, darling. Okay, maybe another day. I hope you feel better. Much love. Salute. You know it. Oh, God. I want to play my music, Brooklyn. I'm going to shake my booty. <laughs> it has been. I got my car back. You know the car that I hit with the deer. Oh, my God. Right now, it's get. You want to see it? No, Brooklyn, you're sleepy. Maybe another day, honey. You know, breast is a beautiful thing. It is. And I'm so hard-headed. I got my video taken down at the 7th. What you mean you got? Why? Somebody showing their booty again? Tell me, sister, what you want me to hear. You know I'm on your side automatic, so what's going on? I bet you it's a bunch of bullshit, isn't it? Brooklyn, you're not from the same state, same city, honey. I feel you. You got in this? You got in this? You got it? No, you mean my guidance. But you ain't telling me that, darling. You gonna call me? Because you know everybody's business ain't nobody's business. But I'm on your side, darling. Now you call me. Mad Max. Oh, what's up, Mad Max in the house, Brooklyn? Family, come on now. Talk to me. Let's go. Let, you tell me what's good, bro. I know you always here. And me and Brooklyn always on your side. We your left and your right angel, honey. Don't believe me. Brooklyn in the house. Brooklyn ain't feeling good, Mad Max. And I just got a notification. I'm live. Oh, my God. Y'all must love me or feel me one. Probably both. Mad Max in the house, man. He's gonna say, oh, oh. Let me quit. <laughs> Y'all know I want to shake me. I've been drinking beer, honey. See, look at it. My first beer. Brooklyn, I feel nice. Y'all want to see my car? Well, another day, because Brooklyn don't feel good. But I got my car back today, guys. Oh, yeah, I hit a deer. Y'all probably seen about a, well, I don't know, because you, know, you guys, you know, we show up and show out when we need to. Because we all got our own challenge, but about a month and a half ago, I hit a deer. It damaged my Ford Fusion. Then I had to go buy them. <laughs> Let's not go there. I had my Ford Fusion back now, and it's nice. Money green. Hell, did y'all see? Oh, y'all tell me y'all saw the Oscar. Y'all see Will Smith slap the hell out of Uki. <laughs> Chris Tucker. Now, do y'all think that was wrong, or do y'all think that was right? It looked like me was kind of staged, because I'm going to tell you something. Ain't nobody going to slap me in my motherfucking face. I'm going to whoop their ass, honey. Shoot, what's going on? I mean, in Hollywood. I don't know. Chris Rock let Will Smith slap him about Jada, the one who's open to eat pussy and everything else. Because you can ask Fuchsia. <laughs> you know how they wear them too much. Brooklyn, you know how much in Hollywood they put all them wigs on your head. You remember that girl that used to sing with her? Is it immature, no? Do you want to, like, I want to make love to you? See, I got the group. But anyway, she used to be on Moesha. And, you know, she was a little, I guess, she was part of a group that I used to love back in the 90s. I just can't think of that girl group now. They was, they was on, they was lit lit. But long story short, she lost all her hair from wearing too much re weed. Excuse me, Lord. Weave. <laughs> when she was on Moesha, and she said all her edges are coming up. Now, I can understand that, but I don't understand why. When Will Smith slapped Chris Tucker when he was laughing at first, and then Jada gave the, the evil, evil, evil bitch in her, talking about, oh, God, it's not this nigga again. And then Will Smith just slapped, and everybody talking about it. Hell, I'm saying, <laughs> I just don't know. Will Smith went crazy and said, keep my wife freaking blah, 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 blah. So and so, 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 out your mouth. And now that he smacked Chris Rock and went back to sit down. But he was laughing when he's come down. Did you see that? 
but before um, when Chris Rock, I mean, at first Will Smith was laughing, and then Jada just rolled her eyes like, "Not this Negro again," you know, that type of stuff. And then he said, "Oh, here come Will Smith." <laughs> he was laughing. He was like, "Oh man!" I mean, I see those. I just laughed because I thought it was stage, but when I looked at it, Tyler Perry and uh, uh, Denzel Washington, oh Lord, the training day. Oh, I love that boy. But in long story short, you know, console him, and then, then Will Smith offered uh, um, Chris Rock an apology, but I don't think it was authentic. I think that's just some his PA, his published assistant, told him to do. Because you know, Oscar's investigating, but Will Smith ain't nobody gonna touch him. Big Bang, no oh, Big Bang. I'm just saying. But you know, Hollywood is all staged about who got the most money. He lost the Oscar after that. He did. Oh my God. I bought that video. I, you said what now, Brooklyn? I I bought that. Oh, video. Oh, I feel you, honey. But anyway, I thought that was a bunch. Of, I think it was a bunch of propaganda, though. You just get views for the Oscars. You know, somebody in Hollywood got to start a little bit of drama. And to me, it looks staged because you know you gonna slap somebody. You know, from Brooklyn, you gonna slap a dog shit out of somebody, piss you off. To me, it's like a a gay bitch slap to me. If you look at it, just I mean, look at it. You know, I think I'll smoke a blunt, or you know, just you just want to just just look at it. You want it look staged too? I mean, if you gonna we talking about real slap. saying y'all you're looking at too too much you can come with all kinds of ways but to me it looks staged and too if i'm gonna slap the hell out of somebody i'm gonna slap the fire that is you know what i'm saying but you know what i will say this chris rock has no right to talk about no woman if a man come from a woman don't talk about her number two that's that man's wife how you gonna keep talking shit about her for the last three years and chris rock he's basically a damn a male chauvinist but words in my own opinion Will Smith should have, Will Smith should have did more than I would have done. I would have body slammed the motherfucker. It's my words. And I'm not even a man. I ain't even gay. I ain't got nothing against that. I'm just saying, in my own opinion, I thought Will Smith, he was body body. Shit. I'd be like, meet me out back. Meet me outside. I mean, that's money. Cheeseburger. Don't mess with cheeseburger money. Honey. I'm talking about Will and Chris. But if I, me, Jada Pickett, that, imagine me, I'm Will Smith, and I can't be. Somebody talk about me. First of all, I ain't gonna mess up my man's money too. I'm not gonna look like an asshole and three at the Oscars. Come on, man. You gotta take that shit somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Don't care because first of all, Jada and Will gotta open up. You remember that little roundout scene was going on, y'all? Just my opinion, but I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. There's some bullshit in there, honey. I in hell. You walk up on your girl, your, your wife, Jaggy Pickett, and she done been with all these motherfuckers, and here you are. Crying like a little bitch. I mean, crying like a little bitch. Oh, we you know they both got an open relationship where they can do what they want to. You never know what goes on close doors. But me, I think it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Ain't Matthew P. But anyway, who knows? I don't know what Illuminati is, but I say this. I think it's a bunch. Of, I think it was just days. Oh, he washed my car. Wash the car. Who that? Like a Mr. Stoner himself, yo. Oh, you live. You live, T. You fuck. He says that. He says that. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, we just flexing. Um, uh, I was like everybody's channel today, just flipping back, flipping back. Brooklyn, I love you. What's up, Miss Passion? What's going on, honey? Matthew P in the house. Yeah, Miss Passion, I love you, honey. You know I do. Well, I mean, you know how many I got? I mean, you got cheese corn, 12. Like, how you do? Hey, Carla, how you doing? Y'all, let me go back and read the check. Y'all give me one minute. I got to go. Single, pay my more. That means I got PP. Give me one lady, like, something real thing. I'll be right back. Y'all get this stone up. Yeah, 
的会，安尼，你嘛就是出来，安尼。<laughs> oh, hey, y'all. We're <laughs> just playing. Hey, what's going on, y'all? But well, anyway, happy Tuesday. I'm going to go tell y'all who's up in the house and who in the he's the baby. We got Brooklyn Chick. I love you, Brooklyn. First in the house. I'm here, but she's sleeping. Y'all got to pray for my baby girl. But she's, you know what? She's the best friend. I love her in the whole wide world. She's, my, she's sweet. I love Brooklyn. And she says, I got my video taken down. Oh, I'm still my lady, that baby. And Brooklyn says, oh, you, you, you got this. And then Mad Max said, let's go. And Mad Max YouTube, you just advanced to level number five. Get it on it. Mad Max up in the house. Let me tell you about Brooklyn Chicken Mad Max. You know what? Those are my go-to people when I got something going on. Or I don't know. They just know me. And when I come alive, they just boom, pop up. Because you know what? We just not more just YouTube. We are family family and i love them to the max they know it mad max salute miss brooklyn chick diamond we ain't be herself we ain't we won't keep rolling down this chat y'all i ain't trying to bore y'all mad max up in the house and mad max is brooklyn showing love that's what we do look at this clown in the back i mean really in my life boom let's get him out <laughs> y'all we just playing yeah just watching hey y'all man i'm gonna say one more time i mean Damn, Chris Rock got fucking smack, bro. Boom. <laughs> Will Smith laid the smack down. Yeah, he apologized like a little bitch. Yeah, Will Smith, punk ass motherfucker. I'm sorry, y'all. I love Will Smith and I like, I kind of like Chris Rock. But anyway, I think now that's it for stage. But well, get back to the chat. Get my language, y'all. But something about faking fuckery, just I don't like it. Here you all got Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry holding you down. But man, that's don't believe the hype. It's a sequel. You probably even tell us that. And that's all us would go to see what's going on in twi Twitter so they can get more money, get up in the media because they know their doggone career is dying. Will Smith got one Oscar. Denzel Washington had to console him and Tyler Perry. Come on, y'all. Don't believe the propaganda. It's Hollywood trying to get you to stop doing what you're doing and look at that bullshit. Period. Point blank. 
Not from a sergeant major. Please believe me. We better buy going and plant some watermelons together. <laughs> Man, shoot. People look at pants on the same way. I mean, it is what it is, y'all. Superstars. <laughs> Old man. Black man, white man, Chinese man. Don't matter what the color is. But God get ready for this time. It's going to happen, y'all. And all this stuff about what these superstars are doing is, is irrelevant to me. We got too much things going on who worry about what they are, Jada and Will Smith and Chris Rock is doing. Facts. Because it's just like fake watching fake wrestling, but you just love it, soap opera. It is what it is. But you know what? That shit ain't no more real than me and Stone Cold Steve Austin Money. 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 But anyway, y'all. <laughs> I don't need to be political because y'all know I am. I can if I want to be, but I ain't trying to be. Brooklyn, Will Smith went crazy and said, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth, bro. Month after that, he smacked Chris Rock and went back. <laughs> Man, I laughed about that part, bro. For real, take a said I was like, oh my God, what's going on? Because I thought it was staged, but obviously it wasn't. He lost the Oscar after that. Oh my God, man, Max. That's the end of the shame. You think I could put that video? Yeah, you can, Brooklyn. Hell yeah, baby girl. Uh, without getting struck. Wait a minute. What's going on with the video? You didn't tell me that. Oh, Jayla Smith. I to say something, y'all. I mean, hey. hey, love. Matthew P. up in the house. Batissimo says, Gus, what's up? This is a last level one. Matthew P., we got sound out for real. What's going on, Miss Fashion? Call Lyles, LOL. Love y'all back. Batissimo, Miss Fashion, you just got Vance Level 2. Um, then Miss Fashion says, mm, we just walked in an hour and a half to Dollar General. Oh, you got your workout on there. Did you get something good from Dollar General? I hope you did. Went, want me to share your stream? I come on, baby girl. You already know. You ain't never you better do so. Because you know when I come to you, I do that. Boom, share out and still watch your video. I bet you'll come your live streams on you. You know I was here. I gave you a like and share job though. Uh, I'm going live Brooklyn right now. I'm gonna be there at hell with Muslim Brooklyn. I'm gonna be there. You know I love you, darling. And I brother said, what's going on, darling? And I lost everybody. 22. Hey. I love y'all. Oh Lord. Turn it up, man. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Will Smith. Got, Will Smith got smacked. I'm going to tell him you're going to lie. In 30 minutes, I know, right? Jada said something, honey, on YouTube. I'm here, but what time are you going live, darling? You should change your thing. Carolina down the panel. Brooklyn, Carolina. We get a lot of reviews. But this is your panel, darling, queen. But I'll be there. Do you want me to come up? Man, I gotta move positions. You got 730. Uh, but Brooke, look at my numbers. How many sus- how many uh beautiful family members I got? How many subscribers I got? Because you can't say subscribe. I don't know everybody get that bullshit from. Yes, please. Let me quit cussing, darling. When you get that thing, you can't say subscribers on your channel. I, 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 I must have read that panel like a hundred thousand times, but there's nowhere on what they say you can't say the word subscribe on your live stream. Like, subscribe, YouTube. I don't know. I think somebody made a fuck rely on me. Everybody just believed it. That's just my opinion, though. Will Smith just walked up and smacked the dog shit out of Chris Rock. I can't believe it. I think that's it. Stage, and I'm gonna just say that. That's my opinion. He has been talking about Jada for years. She rolled her head, honey. It's just come out them fucking eyes. You know, she's Jamaican, goddamn, like my grandpa. This is not the hair roll. Like, I wish a motherfucker would. I was like, oh, no, you did not. You don't slip a half hour. Women are nasty cunts. Excuse me, y'all. I should have said that. Because you know what? Yeah, smack the fire that motherfucker, girl. I mean, y'all. He smacked his. Keep my wife's under the fucking mouth. Can y'all believe that? And then, please believe me. Guess who's going to investigate the Oscars? 
They said, I don't mind. Now you won't wheel smell back there anymore. We said, how they go? <laughs> We're all over next shivery. Oh, Lord. 7.30, yes. I will be at Brooklyn Six um, panels tonight for a little while because I do have homework. And uh, I'm just hanging out here and just want to talk to somebody because I'm feeling nice, y'all. I did my little homework and I, ain't got, I just want to see what's coming up. And as usual, my people that I love so much, so Jill just always show up. But I know everybody can got different people they like to see and let know me. Carolina Diamond, I'm just gonna be me. And I'm glad that I got nine thumbs up and one person just in the building. I ain't even got 30 minutes. Y'all love me that much. Oh my God, y'all have me crying, y'all, for real facts. Two people in the building, nine thumbs up. I get 10 thumbs up. I'm just gonna let this cry because y'all love me that much. I'm the, I love y'all too, salute. I swear to God, I do. And you know how much I love you. Brooklyn, mm, I love you too. You know I do, honey. Salute. You know I love you, Diamond. I love you, honey. But what is the topic for tonight? <laughs> In your panel. Anything goes. I know that's right, Brooklyn. <laughs> we don't miss the news and. What is Tuesday? What's on TV on Tuesday? I don't care. I'm live with my friends. That's all I need. We got the whole our homegirl Brooklyn. Brooklyn chicken bananas. She's from Brooklyn like we are, Ronnie Myers. And I wonder how many times he's gonna say damn. Yeah, watch it. <laughs> Suck it time. I should get somebody a sweet steak. She gave somebody a prize. How many times did you say damn in one minute? Too many times. <laughs> Who? Started yeah. Life with her. Yeah, but y'all know I gotta be here too. Hello, Batissimo. And she was protected. Nicole. Are y'all still, it wouldn't um, chat with me right now. I know Brooklyn probably. But anyway, we're just relaxing. I just got the home homework and I'm just relaxing. And I ain't watching Deadly Women. I can't wait to WrestleMania, y'all. Stone Cold Steve Ball's gonna be the shit out of Kevin Owens. I'm trying to tell y'all. I love me some Stone Cold Steve Ball's. Sexy white piece of little mooch. Mm. Y'all know Stone Cold Steve Ball's been married three times. First one, I guess he ran his high school little second one. Deborah the puppies. Third time, I don't know who he married to now, but I think he's living in Nebraska now. Of course, his wife got him two little houses in Victoria, Texas, but Stone Cold's living in Nebraska. He said he's coming back to WWE as a commentator after um, WrestleMania. I don't know. I'm just going by what people tell me on Twitter. You guys know I know a lot of wrestlers, but sometimes wrestlers want to hate racial on somebody else. <laughs> but I know the facts. I don't want to spoil your WrestleMania. Four tickets to WrestleMania, y'all. Four tickets. And I can't go. Because y'all know I got a court date. If anybody got I want four tickets. Well, what to get? It probably won't even make it there by the third. On the site. Can't express it. I don't know, y'all. I just hate to let tickets go. If I know somebody who go to WrestleMania, I can go right now. Fly for free, retired military. But any other military folks want to um Brooklyn, guess what? The um WrestleMania, I guess we can't go. I could fly and get there. Dang. One fifty dollars to take a friend. Me and Brooklyn go see WrestleMania. Ooh. But anyway, Brooklyn, I'm coming home um June or July. She always had your back. It's like the time she spotted the neighborhood. Car, and we're gonna have a party me in Brooklyn. He said, Damn, he's <laughs> from Brooklyn. He must know it's gonna be a hell of a party. It's gonna be lit, lit, lit. I love Brooklyn. She's my bestie on YouTube. She's so sweet. 
But anyway, y'all, I can see you and talk all day. I got 30 minutes and nine seconds into the chat. I got two people to go and nine thumbs up. I'm just rambling, y'all. I'm just rambling. Um, I'll be at Brooklyn's Chicks tonight, uh, 7.30. What time she go live? I'm just sitting here just trying to tell everybody how much I appreciate them. Part all the time. You know it, darling. That's what we do. Brooklyn in the house. If you say, ooh, ooh. I love music, y'all. So right now, I'm not really trying to sing. I'm just really procrastinating. <laughs> I, I, I only had a, a day of a beautiful day. Brooklyn, honey, I think I'm going to just drive up and come get your ass. And then we're going to go get Chuckle Z. I'm going to scare the hell of y'all with my military drive. <laughs> but I'm going to drive up there. You know, I miss driving to the New Jersey Turnpike. I'm like, mm, have road rage. And that's good for the heart when a, when a sister can let all that shit up. She wants to cash in. This boy's watching Deadly Women. See, he done said damn once. Okay, y'all. 60 seconds. How many times is he going to say damn? Here we go. Nine. Nicole was looking to get away with in excess of $400,000. Damn. There she go. You here to help? He hasn't done anything like this in a while. Here you go. Becky was thinking that this is just a game between the two of them, tricked into allowing herself to be blindfolded. Stay yeah. Not too terribly tight, yeah, really such that good. it could have been perceived as a game. What are you doing? It's a surprise. Put in a damn trunk. This appears to me that Nicole put a lot of thought into it. Yeah. Her hands are duct taped behind her. Behind her back. Please, Nicole. This is a buddy. Just stay calm. Nicole tied the gag around Becky's mouth. Damn. Nicole was able to get Becky to actually get in the trunk of a car. Damn it. Seven days in less than a minute. Boy, oh, you know what? That boy's a stone. All they do is smoke nine blunts a damn day. Sometimes ten on the weekend. Man, this is all you do. You see that? You see how my chair is like that? He done put a hole in it, y'all. And we broke up. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just saying. I mean, he said the, the dang on word. Sick. See how you do it? He watching. I mean, I like. He's watching Deadly Women. I love, you know, um, like Fear Thy Neighbor, ID Channel, Crimes, and all that. that that's. I mean, that's not bad. But he is so much into it. All he do is all day sit there and keep saying, damn. <laughs> it best say, get behind me. It's just, it's just disgusting. She's not such an evil, evil person. <laughs> yeah. Now you think he's a comedian. Oh, I'll take the wheel. Yeah, I'm just having a good time. Party all the time, Brooklyn. Brooklyn will be going live in 20 minutes. But anyway, we ain't gonna talk to me. I don't want to waste your time, but I'm just sitting here, just relaxing, really. Nothing to do. I want to show you my car. You want to see it? Well, maybe tomorrow. I mean, really, because I know you guys got a lot of things to do, and I'm ready to eat my subway, honey. Yeah, I got me a club sandwich. And I'm ready to tear it up too. <laughs> see, we keep saying the D A M N word. What was wrong with men when they smoke marijuana? It's legal here, you know, in a state of legal. But when you smoke that stuff, all you do is what he does now. Watch this show and say the word. You in a minute. D A M. Mm. And so and so, so and so. You're going to get high, get high. <laughs> I would be sitting watching TV saying, damn, all day. That's just not me, but that's him, though. I could never phantom a smoking. Nine months. Lord have mercy. I would hate to be the one to take the x-ray of his lungs. You only get so high, they tell me. Well, he tells me. But he keeps doing it over and over and over and over again. How do you smoke nine months in one day? I don't know. It ain't my business. That's his stuff. But me, I just can't do it, y'all. 34 minutes and 58 seconds in this chat. <laughs> 
<laughs> right, I'm just rambling, y'all. I'm just They're rambling. That you told they were essentially able to, to determine was not in fact what No topics. No outline. Not even being professor. I'm just being low budget today. <laughs> it's a Twisted Tuesday. But I thank God for this Twisted Tuesday because I love y'all so much. Brooklyn, I love you. And then all my babies up in here. I know you, man. And somebody's still watching me. And that's cool with me. Yeah, I understand that my um, numbers are up there now. They up and down, up and down. But, you know, friends are straight line with you throughout, through thick and thin. And that's what impresses me. I, I think of this special person, Backwood Barber. Backwood Barber sent me an email about, I guess, about three months ago. And uh, I lost it. I lost it. But I came across it. And I said, I replied to it. And... I love her. I, I don't go to her channel every day, but when I do, she always she always put it down. Back with Barbie is to me the same thing as talking about Katie, but in different ways. You know how you got the diva and then you got the boss, but you know they just different areas. Well, back with Barbie is one of those channels I go to, honey. And uh, she always keeps from Mississippi. I love her. She's so big, like me, honey. I mean, really. And Katie Roby, I love her too. She had a view with a view in Washington, D.C., Katie from Indiana. I can call her a go to woman in any state, but those are the four of my whole eternity I like to talk about. And back to Barbie, I love her. I love her for what she has done. I didn't really um <laughs> expect the outcome would be what it is, but my numbers went from 663 to what it is now. And uh, I don't know because back with Barbara, she got oh, she's she's a YouTube celebrity. So it's Katie, and I wish she was still with us, but you know, it is what it is. But long story short, I have two women that I always look up to for anything. That's Backwood Barber and Truly. No, let me get that word out of my mouth. Miss Katie Rogan. And uh, Backwood Barbie, you know, I was talking about Katie, that she got a chance taken away. And uh, I mean, I just love Katie because she's 100. You know, she shares her whole life with us. You know, Miss Katie Rogan, Miss Fucking Wonderful. And uh, Stephen just passed away. And I'm going to cry if I keep going, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying to get the highlights of why these women are legendary women to me. And it's still in Women's Month. If I had to give two trophies to the extraordinary women of you two, it would be two. That would be Back with Barbie and Katie Robin, Miss Fucking Wonderful. Miss Katie Robin keeps it 100, but Miss Barbie keeps it 1,000. She's too legit to quit. She's just a Southern belle. She's Mississippi. And my humpback eye, quick letter eye, quick letter eye, humpback eye. And I love her for that. And I love Katie for keeping it 1,000 because Katie don't give, she don't give, she cares, but she don't give a damn what nobody says. She's going to be who she is. And then there's Tina Dandridge. Y'all, look, I was mad. Scam. Their policy. They lure their victims into their County Police Department. Ansa County Police Department. Ansa County Police Department. This is scam. This is scam likely. What is this in pre recorded Texas try to sit there to get you buy some medical insurance and they end up taking all your money? Then they take your information you got and they can sell it to other people and you have been just id compromised meaning your whole identity has been stolen yeah we gotta be careful about what we do on youtube we do but anyway i just came on here for a moment y'all i'm not gonna waste your time because i got one person to build in night thumbs up when y'all come in can y'all smash that like button but um, I just wanted to say uh, one thing. Um, my live stream last night was called uh, Thunderstorm Tuesday, I believe. And uh, I just want to give out some special shout outs to um, the people that were there. Book the chick, she's always there. You know, she's not feeling good, but she's there. And I love her so much. And then uh, God the good one, Jesus Freak. Um, DJ Vali. Um, oh my God. Jesus, I gotta keep going on. Okay, um, wow. I gotta wrote down somewhere, but I gotta get oh yeah, let's keep going. Chilling with Byron. Yes. Jesus Freak. Brooklyn Chick. DJ Vibes was there. And okay. Uncle Uncle Brother Bunzy. And a couple more people. 
I just want you to shut up because, you know, sometimes this is girl trying to get a watch time hours up. And right now I looked at my watch time hours because I've been doing videos, but since my father passed away, I just had to take a break from YouTube. You guys know that. But I got 779 watch time hours. That's me, real time hours. Man, I got to I got to go. I got to hustle hard. <laughs> Monetization is in, I can see it in my view. And I love that Will Barbie. How do I handle being a celebrity YouTuber? I guess the same way I handle being a Sergeant Major. If it's meant to be, it shall be. He said, I said, I said, I whatever it's going to be, going to be. Well, you know what? I mean, I just, as it makes me, the way all this describes what all the family members I have now, let me just better word because I don't look at people as numbers. I look at you guys individually. With all the people now that I have in my corner, that I can be a family to them, to be sometimes inspiration to somebody. If it's just one person, life I change, that I'm on my mission, you know? And uh, it makes me look at my channel in a different way now that I'm at the 700s because for so long I just stayed at 600. I was like, okay, no problem. But uh, what kind of content should I do? Should I cook? I'm a, I'm a variety channel. I'm a lifer. I show you the life of a soldier retiring from the military. But there's so much more to me than that. You know, if I say find your niche, <laughs> that means one thing that you're going to be good at YouTube. I just can't do that. There's just so many. We all got gifts and by that they're having a problem. And put yourself as a box is like putting yourself back on a chain with a noose. Don't ever do that. Don't ever define yourself for nobody. Define yourself for you and God. You know, and uh, if you have to do what you on YouTube, keep pressing on. And I promise you, if I ain't been there, I'm coming. And that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I'm just uh, done with all homework. And I, I feel nice right now. And it's only 10, 20, well, 10 minutes, well, 720. And Brooklyn Chick, if y'all don't know, if y'all want to know a great YouTuber who's so sweet, she put you on a panel. It's Brooklyn Chick. She goes live every night at 7.30. Oh, she's feeling good. She let you know because she was going to put it out there. She is extraordinary, and I'm glad to be a part of her um, family on YouTube. She, ooh, she's such a sweetheart. She got a son and a daughter. Her son is in the military. You guys have been to Brooklyn Chick? I know Brooklyn Chick. I mean, she's the art of YouTube. And uh, I'm going to go over there. But anyway, y'all, it's been real. I got to get ready to um, get myself cute for to be on Miss Brooklyn Chick's panel because you just can't show up there any type of way. Besides, she's my sister and she, you know, I'm going to give her all of me. It's just, just me, just me and her. But anyway, y'all, much love. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace. If y'all know what, go to Brooklyn Chick. Brooklyn Chick in the house. But anyway, yeah, everybody know Brooklyn Chick. And the Brooklyn Chick, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all have the best time of your life. You got Untwisted Tuesday. Much love, y'all. Peace. Go to Brooklyn Chick. Mm -hmm. You laugh. Much love, y'all. Peace.